Hey there guys, this is Darwin, and uh, today we don't actually have a review, we're just uh, talking about stuff. And um, I'm actually finishing the rest of my Abner. Um, I've actually obviously reviewed this most recently and then earlier this year. And I'm sipping on this beer and I'm going to miss this beer. It's actually incredible. And <laughs> it's actually mind-blowingly incredible. And so sort of my question for you guys is what uh, shelf beers or what beers do you guys have access to? Do you guys really uh, love and sort of um, you can get a steady stream of that you really, really enjoy? Because like, you know, a rare, you know, hard to get. I have to drive six hours to get this beer. Um, you know, what beers you guys really enjoy that you can sort of get always. Uh, for me, um, I actually was thinking about writing a quote unquote like cheat sheet of uh, beers that I personally think that you can find on the shelf yeah, that people generally get distribution of. Uh, for me, entering the craft beer was a sort of a loss kind of thing. Beer Advocate was qu uh, quite useful, but you know, for me, I've had a lot of beers and tried a lot of beers off the shelf. And um, there's certain beers I can sort of pick out that are um, beers that people definitely should seek out when they're you know at the store. And so let me know if you guys want me to make that list. Speaking about Beer Advocate, uh, Kent, who is a commenter, uh, thank thank you guys a lot by the way for watching, you know, liking all my videos, all that good stuff. And uh, what I really like is actually a lot of the um, interaction with the people that comment on my videos. I always try to uh, uh, reply to the comments. I really appreciate that. So uh, speaking about um, uh, Kent, he asked about what I think about Beer Advocate Scale. Um, for me, I use Beer Advocate Scale to sort of review my beers. Um, uh, yeah, I really like their scale. Uh, for me, I mean, I love a lot of beer uh, reviewers that are on YouTube. I mean, I that's really why I started doing this. And, um, you know, not to put them down at all, but it's sort of confusing sometimes when people have a lot of sort of scales, you sort of have to realize like what they like and then sort of try to rate it based on that because they all have their own kind of scale of what they sort of prefer and don't prefer and like what their ratings are. Uh, for me, I like the fact that I'm using a scale that people can understand. Um, you know, if you see me review a 92 on my beer and you see it reviewed as an 89 on beer advocate you sort of see what i think um so yeah that's sort of what i prefer and so i like that relevance the other thing is that also on the top 250 i believe there are about like 70 something about 70 to 80 beers that are 100 out of 100 uh, i'm fine with that i like the fact that there are a lot of beers that have 100 out of 100 um beers are incredible some beers are just absolutely killer um i like beer and there are great beers and there are great beers that deserve 100 of 100 um it's obviously not like great beer great beer to me just makes no sense there's a lot of 100 out of hundreds there's like this they have a they have a huge i've noticed that uh great beer is a huge liking for westy 12 and um speedway alesmith speedway stout which are two incredible beers but why those are like some of the a couple of the top beers that are reviewed on the site makes no sense to me whatever um i don't understand that and whatever's at that site if you guys like rape beer tell me why i should like rape beer but it's confusing me i prefer um beer advocate i actually do like uh the beer advocates scale in the sense that i see the top 250 and i actually agree with a decent amount of those brews and then um speaking to that uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think about sort of uh, my scale rating, what you think about uh, Beer Advocate scale rating. Uh, for me, uh, Beer Advocate's uh, ratings were very useful for me to get into beer. Um, again, what I, my opinion is that don't trust a rating, but um, it is it's going to be useful. Higher ratings for me are higher probability of a fact that you will agree with the rating slash like the beer. Um, you know, a beer that's 97 to 100, I'm probably, I can't think of many beers that I don't agree with that kind of range. You know, maybe it won't be 100, 100, somewhere, it might be a 97 for me. You know, I'm going to range it somewhere there, but the masses are not going to be, in my mind, too crazy in the sense that they're going to give a beer 100 out of 100, and I'm going to think that's a 90, right? Um, you know, the higher ratings, I generally agree with, and lower on, you're probably going to get a less probability that you're going to agree on but generally again the ratings are useful for me in the sense that you're gonna there's a higher probability that you're gonna like the beer and agree with the rating so obviously you know a 92 you're gonna agree with it somewhat 94 a little bit more a 96 you're probably gonna agree with the rating 100 you're probably gonna agree with that rating right like it's more and more that kind of probability game um obviously don't i'm not telling you to completely agree with the rating 
Think what you think about a beer. Uh, for me, I've given you know widely different scales about uh, what I think about a beer. Old Rasputin for me is actually one of those beers I champion as a beer that I actually don't completely agree with on the rating with. But um, yeah, let me know what you guys uh, think about you know um, shelf beers that you guys really like. What beers you guys sort of seek out that you really have a good accessibility with. And then secondly, uh, on Beer Advocate or what scales do you guys like? What kind of rating? Um, scale rating do you guys really like do you like my rating do you like beer advocate scale rating whatever uh, rate beers da 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 until next time guys cheers later